Well, everybody, nice to have you with us. We're warm and cozy in the studio, but we all have to venture outdoors eventually. Uh, Doug Day is with us from Campers Village, and we have Robin to model what we are going to remind you and us and we how to dress properly for the elements. Good morning, welcome. Thank now, you. I, I was saying earlier, we know how to dress. What's that all about? Yeah, well, I think everybody's pretty familiar with the concept of layering. But, you know, we still sometimes get up in the morning and think, okay, I'm going to do this today. What am I going to wear? So, for example, I'm going to go cross-country skiing. Right. And the, the conditions change so quickly. You can be out cross-country skiing for an hour, and all of a sudden the wind picks up and it's much colder, or the sun can come out and you're really perspiring. So how do you dress? so that you can match your body temperature to the weather conditions that are out there and the activity that you're participating in. Right, because if you sweat, that's a whole different... Okay, so you're yeah. even, you've even got layers on. But Absolutely. <laughs> so, Robin, we've got what we would call long underwear. That's right, and this is the base layer. And okay. really, the base layer is the most important layer. Okay. Because when you're, whether you're participating in an activity where you're really perspiring, mm -hmm. these lightweight layers from Icebreaker, they breathe so well. So if you're perspiring, it's, light, it's, it's not heavy. Yeah. Not at all, yeah. no. And you, and you don't need that first layer to be heavy. Okay. Uh, when it's lightweight like this, it moves the moisture really efficiently. And yet, for a garment that is this light, it's very, very insulating. Okay. So then, uh, what would go on next? We've got well, it looks like a zip-up jacket. All, that's right. But it's also light too. It's not a heavy. Not at all. Yeah. Ah. This is also 100% merino from okay. Icebreaker. Okay. And then and I see that you have a vest there. That's right, and a vest as well. Okay, so will this zip up? Because sometimes I feel if I'm too restricted, I don't like too many things that are tight. Well, that's right, and that's some, sometimes why people don't want to layer, because they're feeling too yeah. bulky, and that you know they can't move. Mm -hmm. And that's why these nice, lightweight layers that are so thermally efficient are very comfortable, because you can still move in the activity you're doing. You don't feel too bulky. Okay, let's do the next layer. Right. So, so it, it as well is not the heavy Sorry, Robin. feather vest that I would experience. Exactly. No, it's very, very light. Okay. And again, in the inner, inner lining here, you've got a 100% layer of merino. And then I don't know what merino is. Okay, merino is a type of wool, but it's a very special wool that is, comes from the merino sheep. Oh. And this fiber is sourced from the southern New Zealand Alps. Oh, boy. And these sheep are very special because the wool isn't prickly. It's very, very soft. So when it's against your skin, it, it, it it's not, when it's pressing against you, right. it's not prickly. Yeah. It's very, not very soft. Not itchy, very, scratchy. Not at all. Okay, very, very now, uh, I'm with you on the layers. Okay, that doesn't even look like it's a heavy jacket, but a windbreaker. Right, right. So um, Robin's wearing now three insulating layers okay. to keep her warm. Okay. Now, uh, depending on the conditions, again, if it's really windy, this is where the shell comes in, because the shell blocks all the wind. And a lot of times it's a wind that's making yeah. you really cold. Yeah. And by having that shell on your outer layer, that's trapping all the air in those layers and within the merino itself that is actually what's keeping you warm. It sounds like a dumb question, but it would matter to me. Do we uh, zip the vest up or is it just depending on... It's depending, and that's the great thing about having the, the full zip or a quarter zip like what I'm wearing and the jacket, you can fully use the zippers to ventilate yourself. Okay. So depending how much you're perspiring, you can unzip and allow yourself to ventilate so you don't get too hot. I sweat sometimes. So I'm going for a walk and I'm cold and I'm walking fast and I sweat and so then I, yeah. So is right. that what that wool? Well, yeah, because uh, when you're wearing the merino, you don't get that wet, clammy feeling. It's all breathing through. So even if you're perspiring like on a typical walk, let's say an evening walk, you're walking the dog, you're gonna perspire a little bit, but you won't even notice it in merino. And if you're really, really active doing snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, etc., and you're really perspiring, the moisture is going to ventilate all the way through your whole layering system, keeping you dry, warm, and comfortable. Unbelievable. Dan from Campers Village. Robin, thank you very much. You. Uh, I, I went into the segment saying, yeah, I know it all, but wonderful. Go in layers. Your mother was right. And uh, also keeping the, the rear end warm as well. <laughs> Thanks very much. We'll see you out there, and we'll see you right after this.